Hey guys, I'm here with another tutorial. If you're interested on how I got this look, keep watching. We're gonna start off with freshly washed hair. We're gonna towel dry our hair. And then next, we're gonna go ahead and add in a leave-in conditioner. Just a little bit because you do not want your hair to be heavy. You definitely don't want to forget the undercut that is part of your hair. Now once you massage that in, you're going to add in a hair serum. The hair serum is going to allow you to get a more sleek, effortless blow dry. You're going to massage that all throughout your hair, making sure you get your roots and your ends. Next, you're gonna go in with a rice water. This rice water is by Nelly Hair Products and I'll be adding that in the description below. And this is just to give my hair some moisture. Now, once I massage that all throughout my hair, I'm going to begin parting my hair off in sections. I'm going to do four sections. First, I'm parting it down the middle to split it in half and two. Then I'm going to do a section, in, two sections in the front and two sections in the back and clip away as I section my hair to prepare for my blow dry. Now, as you can see, I am sectioning my hair with my fingers versus a large tooth comb or a rat tail comb. It is easier for me to do this with my fingers because it, one, it's quicker, <laughs> and uh, two, uh, my scalp is a bit tender, so I just like to do it better with my fingers versus a comb. Here, I'm applying my hair protectant to each section. This is going to allow me to protect my curls. Uh, I am detangling with a denim brush. I love this brush. It's better than doing it with a large tooth comb in my opinion. So get you one. Now, time for the blow dry. This blow dryer is a game changer. I actually got this blow dryer from Amazon. It's a paddle brush blow dryer. Hey, all my natural sisters out there, trust me when I tell you it is easier to get a nice, seamless blowout with this blow dryer. Trust me, you'll thank me later. I'll also leave a link down below in the description so you guys can also get your uh, blow dryer as well. But instead of using a roller brush and a blow dryer, which will <laughs> tire your arms out, this brush, this blow drying brush does the trick. It actually gets it completely straight, blown out. So when you, it's time for you to do that flat iron, when I tell you it is seamless, it is seamless, girl, okay? So trust me, this blow dryer does the trick and I can blow my blow dry my hair all in 30 minutes. 30 minutes! All this hair on my head, blow dried in 30 minutes. So ladies, get you this blow dryer, okay? You'll thank me later. I just completed the two sections in the back and look at my hair. I haven't even begun to flat iron my hair. This is just me detangling and blow drying my hair. Ladies, this blow dryer is no joke. When I tell you this is something you need to have, this is a must 
have. Look at that section. That is the third section. No flat iron, just blow dry. This blow dryer is everything. So get you one, ladies. Now that I've completed my blow dry, I'm going to section my hair and I'm gonna to begin to oil my scalp. I do sometimes use, well, most of the time, use a do-grow oil on my scalp. I don't use too much because you don't want your hair to be too greasy and it'll make your hair stiff. And who wants a stiff wrap? Not me. <laughs> so once I do that, I massage it in my hair, I comb my hair through and prepare to do my foot When you're close to me, you love me right down to my knees. And whenever you let me hit it. Now the fact that I had such a seamless blow dry, the flat ironing process was a breeze. It literally took me about 25 to 30 minutes to flat my iron, to flat iron my entire head. Like it it has never, ever took me that long before getting this blow dryer. So when I tell you guys, you want a seamless hairdo and you're wearing your hair straight, my curly sisters, get you this blow dry hair so you can have a seamless blow dry and a seamless flat iron. One or two passes will do the trick. Now that I completed my flat iron, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap my hair. I'm about to jump in the shower, so I definitely don't want my hair to get wet and mess up what I've already done. So I do take my denim brush and I wrap my hair. If you guys want a tutorial on how to wrap your hair, just comment below and I'll definitely do one. But I wrap my hair, I put on my Velcro strap, and then I put some clips in the top to keep my hair in place. You can see it's like falling out the top. And then I take a nice silk scarf, tie my hair down, and once I tie my hair down, I put on my bonnet, put on my shower cap, jump in the shower, and I'm good to go. Voila! After I've gotten out the shower, I've done my makeup, I unwrap my hair, baby, look at the shine, look at the body. You would never think I was a, a natural sister, a natural girl. Yes, it's the body for me. And the fun thing about it is that you would never know I have an undercut. <laughs> That's the cutest healthy hair. Look at the results. It's amazing. Now, I do need a little trim, but I'm definitely going to go ahead and uh, go to a professional, um, another professional, <laughs> and have them actually trim my hair. So that way I can get a really nice cut. But look at the results, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Here's another tutorial for you. And like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.